Okay, everybody, welcome back to Learn with Minecraft Education. Today, we're going to be doing some coding with the agent, specifically some farming. So grab a hoe and uh, off we go. Okay, everyone, so here we are in Minecraft Education and we've loaded up a world, a big, flat, empty world here. And we've got our agent and we've loaded up our code. So let's... Um, Let's jump straight in and see what our agent does. So let's press T and farm. And watch our agent head off. And uh, let's have a little chat about what we're seeing here. So our agent is tilling the soil in front of it. It is then putting into that soil some seeds. It is then putting in some bone meal. It's then moving forward and doing the same thing again. Our challenge today is to build a nine by nine square of uh, crops that are gonna grow. In the center of that square, we should have one square of water, there it is. And it should be fenced off from uh, mobs and stuff like that from getting at the crops. And there we go. So a few areas in the top left but everything's there that's just the corners where the uh, lines of code are overlapping slightly um, so let's have a look at our code and see how we managed to put this together and how we might want to use this in the classroom so first of all we've always got an on chat command tp agent teleport to player um, in case we mess things up and want to try it on a different part of the map while we're working out our code but straight off let's have a look at the code here, so on chat command farm, repeat nine times, agent set active slot to one, agent till forward, agent place forward, agent set active slot to two, agent place forward, agent move forward. So if we uh, zip over to our agent, there he is. We've got beetroot seeds in the first slot, bone meal in the second slot, water bucket in the third, spruce fence in the fourth so again if we head over to our code we've got we've set the active slot to one we've done that every time we don't need to um, and set, set it to two so active slot one is the seeds active slot two is the bone meal so we're placing we're tilling in front of us we're placing down the seeds we are then placing straight down ahead again the bone meal, and then we're moving forward, and we are repeating that nine times, because it's a nine by nine square. I turn to the right. Now, this little repeat one time is a really useful way. So let's say you wanted to duplicate this and just drag it in and have it in there once. Uh, so you right click on it, you duplicate, but you only get this top one. You only get the agent set active slot. You don't get all the ones underneath it. So you can copy something that's in a, a duplicate, it's in a repeat bracket. So if I want one of these, and you just change the amount. So if you want to run that line of code once, you just do it like that. It means you can, you can duplicate long chains of code um, in big slots, and it really saves a lot of time. Okay, so we're turning to the right, doing that, doing that, turning to the left, doing it eight, turning to the right, doing it eight, turning to the left, doing it eight, and so on. We're kind of zigzagging around and placing down our seeds and bone meal. And once we're in the top corner, we move left by four, back by four. Now that puts us into the middle of the field. Then we destroy down, set active slot to three, which is where our water bucket was. Agent placed down, agent moved back by five. That takes us behind the field now that we've just tilled. So we're looking across the field. Agent move to the left by six. So then we are, the agent should uh, be in the kind of bottom left corner of your field and have a square between it and the field. And now we're gonna place our fence. Now, you may try this by placing the fence down. It doesn't work, you can't place the fence down. Agent won't do it. So we're placing the fence to the right, which is why we've moved to the left six to give us space to place that down. We're going to give our agent 64 uh, bits of fence, set the active slot to four, and off we go, repeat 11 times, agent place right, agent move forward once, we turn right, move forward once. 
So we're going around the perimeter now of our farm, our field. And then when we do that four times, each one is 11 sides long. There are four sides in total, so we've got those repeats there. We compile our code and run it, and it does uh, what we just saw it do. Um, so if I TP my agent over here, and I type farm, watch that go again now. How can we use this with our students? Now, a really um, interesting way to do an activity like this is actually not to just say, can you design me a nine by nine field with a water, a block of water in the middle to water it, bone meal on each one and a fence around the edge. Uh, that's a big ask, I think, um, for your students. Um, something to get them started off might be a similar activity to this, maybe a smaller field without the water bucket in the middle uh, and the fence, and then uh, give your students the code and see if they can execute that with less lines of code. So if I, if I go into my code, it's quite long. Uh, there are certainly ways to make the code more efficient and to get uh, fewer lines of code with the same results. Not, not a lot, lot fewer, but certainly you could add in a couple more repeats in that first stage uh, to get this running a bit nicer. So that would be my challenge to my class and to anyone out there listening. Uh, can you create a nine by nine field beetroot, irrigated, and fenced off with fewer codes than uh, I've code than I've used there. I'm going to zoom out. It's pretty long. There you go. Um, now, here's what I'm going to do. This is a little tip for you out there who want to share this. I'm going to click share and share the project. There we go, and there is um, a link uh, that you can send over to your students and teams or Flipgrid or whatever. And if you're using the new beta of Minecraft Education, you can do it in there. You can just add it to the world for the students to use. And there's even a QR code there as well, so you can copy that. I'm going to pop that into the, the description for this video. And uh, if you want to edit it, make the field bigger, use less lines of code, whatever you want to do, as a starting point for your students, by all means, go ahead and uh, let me know if you're any of your students or yourselves get that done in fewer lines of code. Right, that is it for the video today. Please make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, check back with us later in the week for more videos on Minecraft education. But until then, I'll see you next time.